You know, there have been all different styles of cooking, so you learn something new every time and different presentation, different kind of food, different spices, seasoning. And it was really great tonight. Like, this was, everything was sort of pre-done. Tonight probably worked the best in putting it out as fast. Because if you have like French style cooking, you have to cook it to order and you wait and then you have to slice it and you have to put it on the plate, it takes much longer. This was much more productive. We just do the same style we do here year after year and year day after day. And if somebody new comes in with a totally different style, different seasoning, spices, food, totally different. It's, it's, a, it's exciting for everybody. So, and everybody learns something new they've never seen before or, you know. It's, well, sushi is obviously interesting and even the parchment paper too. That's something we don't, I've seen before but never really done it. It's a nice presentation. We try to use all the local things on the island, and ma mainly lamb, lots of fish. And we just go with the season. We have our own garden. And we pick whatever is ready to pick, and that's what we just use. Mm -hmm. So what, what is the uh, signature dish here? Lamb, Salt Spring Island lamb. Salt Spring is known for its lamb. So we do lots of lamb. So, yeah. We do rack of lamb, tenderloin of lamb, loin of lamb, leg of lamb. We make sometimes lamb sausage for breakfast and stuff like that. The salty air goes over the grass from the ocean and then the lamb eats the salty grass. It's a little bit salty and they eat that kind of food and that makes the meat taste a little different. And it's only by about six, seven months old when we eat it. So it's still young. It doesn't taste lamby, very mild flavor. The dinner is great. There's something about eating a dinner that you've helped prepare that makes it taste even more delicious. And uh, uh, it was six courses of, of mastery. Tojo has absolutely uh, uh, you know, mastered the art of uh, sensational food that looks good and, and uh, is good for you. So um, uh, I knew it would be a great meal. And uh, despite the fact that uh, I did a fair amount of the prep, it turned out, uh, turned out beautifully, I thought. And, and so did everybody else that was at the dinner. I, I think everybody's very impressed with uh, the variety of the food, the imagination put into the food. And, and uh, so um, uh, I think uh, we'll, we'll do it again, I'm sure. So, Trevesan, thank you very much for this trip. Oh, my so, pleasure, um, my pleasure. Anytime very good enjoy, food enjoy. I know you are a lifestyle. <laughs> <laughs> I see the you is your lifestyle. You can be part of this lifestyle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And look, look at that, yeah. less than 24 hours. Amazing. Amazing. I have I so satisfied last 24 hours. Perfect. Thank you very Perfect. much. Well, thank you, arigato. Perfect pilot. Thank you. He's a yeah. good pilot, so maybe you take lessons. Yeah. <laughs> you fly me you next time. You are a lot of talent. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I, I feel like I'm part of the family now. I, I know all of the staff very well. I, I know their families. Uh, I know their life stories. And, and uh, I think that's made possible by the open kitchen concept. You can sit down at the sushi bar, and it's like sitting at somebody's island in a kitchen. You get to sit down and, and watch them make your food and uh, talk about food, their lives, your lives. So it's, uh, it's uh, a social aspect to it that, uh, uh, to me, is irreplaceable. It, it, it uh, never feels like you're walking into a restaurant and somebody's serving you a plate. Uh, you do feel like you're being invited to somebody's house and, and having a wonderful meal. So that's what makes it special for me.